Hello guys, I'm here to show you a little demonstration of what can be done with a Mega Wi-Fi cartridge. A Mega Wi-Fi cartridge is the li this little thing that is plugged inside the console, like this one. And in addition to the standard flash memory to burn ROM files, it also has a Wi-Fi module to connect to the internet. So what can be done with this thing? Let's see a little demonstration. I have already inserted in the console a cartridge with a, a special ROM and a firmware to, to see what capabilities it, it has. Let's uh, turn on the monitor and the console and see what, uh, what is launched in, in the screen. Ok, we have three options, start, download mo mode and configuration. Let's uh, see them from bottom to top. The configuration menu uh, allows uh, mainly to uh, select the between three network configuration, where you can input the SSID of your router, the password, etc. If you don't want to write, you can also scan, scan for access points and select the one you want to use. You can edit settings, edit the, the usual stuff. Once you have configured an access point, you can uh, save the settings and do a small test to connect to the access point and then trying to ping DuckDuckGo to see if the connection is working. Ok, and that's all for the configuration menu. Oh, there's uh, one more thing, there's also a time configuration sub-menu because the uh, module supports, uh, implements an SMTP client to synchronize the date and time. Ok, uh, in the download mode menu is where things start to get interesting. Once you enter this mode, the, the cartridge connects to the access point and uh, once the connection is established, let's make this a little bigger, you can use a, specially, a special client to send uh, ROM files to the, to the cartridge over the air. Ok, let's send OMAMI from Pocket Lucho. Once we start sending the file, the module starts receiving packets and writing the, the ROM in the flash memory. And once it finishes, we'll see the game start. And voila! Welcome to the future! ROM sent over the air. Is it right? Ok, if you can remember, uh, there's still one option we have not seen. Let's turn off the console. And power it on again. If you select the start option, the last game you sent or using the Wi-Fi is uh, started instantly because it was already uh, stored in the flash memory so you don't uh, need to send it again over the Wi-Fi link ok I hope you like this video if uh, you find this interesting remember that all the mega Wi-Fi project is uh, is open source you can go to to my github repository and download the hardware and software files okay thanks for watching goodbye